the key to a good YouTube video is several things. You're like, oh, great writing, sharp, clear photography, competent editing, attention to pacing, an interesting topic, a handsome, clear communicator as a host. Well, yeah, all those are good things for a video to have, so you're right. But I mean more like a funny thumbnail where I make a farty face or get a kicked in the balls face. I don't know if it's a kicked in the balls for pleasure or pain. You know, you can mix it up a little bit and also point to something. I know I haven't been great on that in the past, so hopefully this video is an examination on how to improve my videos and my channel in general and maybe a turning point. I'm also aware that I put the name of the product usually in the still in a title and it's not clickbaity enough. And I've noticed my boy Wrangler Star does none of those things. He keeps it a mystery. And while we sit around and wonder how I've been YouTubing wrong all these years, let's look at the dimensions of this classic German knife, like the overall length and weight. In his 941 video, he took one from the Jaws playbook and waited halfway through before revealing the knife. Ah, masterful. Blade size, cutting edge. However, he had an interesting story beforehand, so that really made up for it. Handle size, grip area. I mean, I may as well go ahead and say it now. Sorry, I'm not I'm not very good at YouTube. The Mercator, the Mercator, the Mercator K55K. Spine thickness, handle thickness. Well, there goes the SEO. Now you know what the gimmick of the video is. Tallness? You're like... I remember a time when a man could just tell me to buy something I already have 10 of without making a dumb face or doing a weird voice. Why can't I just look at a man's hand for 20 minutes, comforted by all the ums and repetitions in his limited vocabulary? I don't know. Good question. Like, uh, I don't know, man. The Mercator K55K is a classically designed German knife that the Wikipedia page, written by probably a reliable source, says it was made there since 1867. You can find lots of sketchy info by Googling it, mostly people repeating the same stuff they read on the Wikipedia page, like I did. Some eBay listings where it looks like people took sandpaper to some of the current models and let it sit in the rain for a week. But the Cake 55 k can be had in multiple handle variations like brass or copper, and in stainless and carbon steel blades. I bought the carbon one, like you care. The Cake 55 k features a spear point. Well, I guess product descriptions call it a drop point, but... I think it looks more like a spear point blade that's flat ground and made from a satin finished carbon steel. But since it's my video, I guess I could call it a karambit and you couldn't do shit about it. The K55K was sharp out of the plastic packaging, however if I'm going to flip it for $200 on eBay, I'll have to use it first and hopefully on concrete. Also, uh, where's my electric sander? It's like the Duke Duke saga but with my power tools. My kid isn't old enough to blame it on her though. The blade locks into place with a lock back mechanism. You can use the nail nick or just your fingers to open it, whatever makes you feel better. Lockup seems strong and it's resistant to spine wax. See, I have no problem whacking it. It's about comparable to my Spyderco. Lock back in terms of pressure required to close and it's nice and rounded with no sharp edges. The handle can be had in multiple variations of materials, but mine is the folded stainless steel covered in black paint version with the lolcat running on the side. The handle is constructed in a very similar way to the Duke Duke, a folded piece of steel. However, the fit and finish and the attention to making sure there are no owie parts on the Mercator is much better. It's almost like they wanted their product to look like it hadn't been in a junk drawer for 30 years right out of the packaging. The back of the handle has a plastic spacer so when the blade closes it has something to rest on that doesn't ding the blade. Plastic is of course softer than metal. A lot of these traditional slip joints usually have the blade hitting a standoff or a liner, which are metal, and will ding your blade if you're not careful when closing. You know, like someone like me. There is no pocket clip, but there's a loop metal thing you can dangle it from something. The rivets are there to hold the pivot and back spring into place. And overall, the handle is very comfortable, fits my hand well, and should work for slightly larger hands too. Comparison. Out of all the budget, traditional, less modern style knives I have purchased this year, this knife is probably the most well-rounded. It has a nice blade shape that doesn't feel cheap, it locks up strongly, has a great personality, and also the cat on the side. I would work it into my everyday carry rotation if it had a pocket clip. The handle is a little thin though, so if you prefer a more bulbous back end, like the OpenL number 8 here, 
I prefer the K55K, sometimes called the Black Cat. The Open L has a nice thin carbon steel blade too, and is French. Which is better, France or Germany? I hear controversy also helps video search engine orientation too. What about the most obvious comparison, the Duke Duke? There's a world of difference in the overall appearance and fit and finish between the two. If Duke Duke had any sort of quality control other than well, it opens and closes, it might be different. I plan on getting the bigger Duke Duke in the future mostly because I like wasting money on things I already own, but more to see how consistent the Duke Duke's quality control if there is one. Uh, one more. How about the Kudman Classic? This one is nice, has a very strong back spring, not good for knife novices like myself. It has a nice comfortable handle too. Still, the K55K is the nicest out of these knives overall. It can be had for 25 bucks easily, and a little more if you want brass or copper, or even less if you steal it from a friend. If you're looking for a good pocket knife under 50, this is a good candidate, if you don't mind the lack of a pocket clip, and also like cat pictures. It has a very thin profile and slides in the pocket easily, and you meow if you lose it, you won't feel bad replacing it. It does come in a stainless steel version too, if you use it in wet conditions often. Of course, there's nothing wrong with wiping the blade down and the patina that comes with the carbon steel blade either. If you like these sorts of reviews, check out my others. Watch my comparison video here where I pit the Black Cat against several other blades. I mean, they're not fighting or anything, but I didn't want to use the word compare twice in the last sentence. Comment, meow that like button. Thanks for watching.